All of these vegetables are maybe a little abused for the supermarket, but they're perfect for us. Because feeding 500 is, is a daunting task, but everything here you'll see will go to use. Food waste is one of the largest contributors to climate change. Food waste for a country, it'd be the third largest contributor to climate change behind the United States and China. And the thing is, food waste is a very preventable and solvable issue. We are in Jessup, Maryland. We're in the Maryland Produce Terminal and the Hungry Harvest Warehouse. I started way back in 2014, about five and a half years ago. And I started with just a farm stand selling one farmer's surplus produce to college students at the University of Maryland. And it's blossomed into Hungry Harvest, where we've reduced about 18 million pounds of produce from going to waste. Some of the items are blemished or they don't look exactly perfect. For instance, they have marks on them. Though they're perfectly good, supermarkets don't look at those as being uh, very favorable, I guess, to sell. But here, we look at everything is usable. We're trying to re-educate consumers on, you know, this is how real fruit looks, re real vegetables look, and they really grow in all different shapes, sizes, directions, forms. So these mushrooms, these are mushroom chips, um, which would otherwise go to waste. So you see, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these pears. Uh, the grower simply grew too, much, too many of them, or a buyer would have canned Canceled for them. A couple different sizes of sweet potatoes. Grocery stores won't accept these. Our food system has evolved uh, a lot over the past, say, 50 or 60 years, where the mass adoption of refrigerated trucking um, and refrigerated vehicles has allowed people to grow anything anywhere in the country. What this caused is a very high standard rate for supermarkets. So they will only accept produce that looks perfect um, because it's so much more abundant. We think that causes a really big problem in terms of food waste. And in the recent years, because of a lot of extreme weather we've had, we've had the five hottest Julys on record uh, just the past five years in, in human hit recorded history. And we've also seen a lot more hurricanes, a lot more snowstorms. So th that has definitely had an impact on the, on the crop cycle. We had an early frost uh, and we had a, the, our farm had to pull all its vegetables. So we have a lot of these green tomatoes. You might think that this tomato is gone, but listen, we made some tomato basil soup last week with tomatoes just like this. Our mission is to fight food waste, hunger, and food insecurity. Those are all separate issues. They're tied by kind of the same coin of uh, the, the food system. we served in October was 10,049 people. This is the morning number of people we served and then this is the evening number. So you see here on this particular day, we did 757. I really believe in the democratization of an idea. So allowing people to access a product and that's why our price point is a low barrier to entry because we're also passionate about fighting food insecurity, fighting hunger and allowing people that would be an everyday normal shoppers shopping at a grocery store to allow them to participate in you know, helping uh, fix the food system.